A year after the overthrow and death of Libyan dictator Muammar Gaddafi, an Israeli lawyer hired by Gaddafi's daughter says that the world deserves to know who killed him and that those responsible should be held accountable. I have no doubt in my mind that he was murdered, murdered in the most brutal and horrible fashion. Um, it's, a, it's a matter of justice, the rule of law, that the people who committed this crime be brought to justice. And not just the people who committed the crime, but their superiors or in, in the hierarchy. Um, that should go right up to the top, the people who were leading the revolution. Maybe people in power in Libya at this present moment in time. The reaction comes with the publishing of a report by campaign group Human Rights Watch called Death of a Dictator, the aim of which is to force Libyan authorities to admit to and hold to account those responsible for war crimes in Libya during last year's uprising. The report says that video evidence suggests that after the capture of Gaddafi in his final stronghold and birthplace Sirte, some 66 or so prisoners from Gaddafi's convoy were slaughtered on a hotel lawn. Meanwhile, unrest continues to plague the North African country a year after its liberation from Gaddafi. The former Gaddafi loyalist city of Bani Walid has recently erupted in fighting, leaving at least 10 people dead. And in another major military operation on the outskirts of Tripoli, Gaddafi's former spokesman Musa Ibrahim was captured on Saturday. The new tensions arose after the death last month of rebel fighter Omran Shaban, who found Gaddafi in hiding and was filmed holding on to him shortly before the 69-year-old dictator was reportedly hit by a grenade and then bayoneted in the rear, leading to his bleeding to death. Part of Libya's legacy in the post-Gaddafi era are the militia groups which still control large parts of the country. After the attack on the U.S. consulate in Benghazi in September, which resulted in the deaths of four Americans, including U.S. Ambassador Chris Stevens, thousands took to the streets demanding that the militias be dismantled. In response, the government is now incorporating militia groups into the army in a bid to create peace. But although militia groups are handing in their weapons, many remain concerned that the freedom of life without Gaddafi has led to Libya becoming decentralized and unstable, with residents in different cities still bearing grievances against others for things that happened under the dictator's four-decade-long rule.